When you're at baggage claim. When I got there, uh, my luggage was not there. It's not hard to find folks who have lost their luggage. It was rough. It's kind of a little bit to be expected. While the majority of passengers, and we're talking 99 and a half percent, do get their bags back. It ended up taking four days to get our luggage back. Have you ever wondered about that other half percent? Well, those bags may end up in Scottsboro, Alabama, here at the unclaimed baggage center. When millions of people are traveling every single day, that fraction of 1% really does add up to a lot of unclaimed bags. That's nice. You're looking at the contents of those bags right here at the nearly 50,000 square foot storefront, which has become a tourist attraction to more than a million shoppers each year. Oh, definitely. Just like Verla Doolin from Ohio. This is exciting. Yes. <laughs> Who agreed to open an orphan suitcase in something the company calls the baggage experience. Look at this. A men's long sleeve button down shirt. That looks good. <gasps> Verla didn't find any emeralds or rubies, which we're told has happened before. Oh, oh my gosh, look at that. She did walk away with a nice souvenir. Wow, I love this. Isn't that cool? So how exactly does a lost suitcase make its way here? Well, the airline has 90 days to get the bag back to its rightful owner. If they don't, the Unclean Baggage Center, which has contracts with all major airlines, comes into the picture. We have truck drivers that make the trip around the country to pick up these unclaimed bags from airlines, and we bring them back here to Scottsboro, Alabama, in our operations facility, where we sort and process these suitcases. Then, each item gets sorted into one of three categories, sell, donate, or recycle. We wanted to show you that part of the process, too. But the Unclaimed Baggage Center wouldn't let us into their operations facility, citing proprietary reasons. And just like that secret area behind the luggage belt at the airport, there are some things we're just not allowed to see. All right, so how can you make sure that your suitcase doesn't end up in Alabama? Well, first of all, make sure that your name and contact info is on the outside and the inside. You can also throw a couple business cards in there because why not? If you're really worried, take a photo of what you're packing. And if possible, carry on. Rachel Polanski, Atlanta News First.